lifting if you want to get bigger. What's going on everybody? I'm Scott from ScottHermanFitness.com. What's up guys? I'm here with my buddy Nick Tedesco, owner of In The Zone Fitness. How you doing, Nick? How are you? What's up, man? Nick was kind enough to let me come here and film today. Probably do a lot of more, a lot more filming here too in the future as it's a great location. It's near my house and there's a lot of great equipment here. Why don't you tell me where you're located? Located in Hampstead, New Hampshire. So uh, real close. Anybody that's in the area, please come and join us. Great rates. Stuff on board, yeah. Yeah. If you guys are in the area, it's seven bucks a month. Seven ninety-five a month. Seven ninety-five a month. And it's a pretty big facility. Cardio, free weights, machines, all kinds of stuff. So if you're in the area, come check it out. And with no further ado. The exercise bar routine. Right, so, Nick, good luck, man. <laughs> thanks for letting me use the gym. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, for this routine, you need two things you need an exercise ball and you need a pair of dumbbells. Okay? I'm going to use 15s and I'm going to start off with doing some hamstring curls on the floor. Now, you can do your hamstring curls a couple different ways. If you're a beginner and you're just starting out, you can put your feet on the ball like this, put your hands down for support, and simply get on your heels and then bring your legs in like this. Okay? This is a very basic movement, it's targeting the hamstrings, and if you don't have a lot of core stability yet, this is the easiest way to do it. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can put your feet in more of the center of the ball, get your hips up off the ground, keep your body straight like a plank, come up and come down. Come up and come down. Put your hands behind your head if you want to make it even harder. See I'm starting to sway a little bit. Keep your body tight, come up, come down. Now each exercise you're going to do for a set of 15 reps and then stop, 15 to 20 reps, okay? So we're going to start here at 15 reps. The next exercise you're going to do is ball passes. Now for ball passes, what you're going to do is lay down like this. If you're a beginner, don't have a lot of core strength, you're going to bring the ball in like this, bend your knees. Come out to here, bring your knees back in, come back out. If you have a stronger core and you're a little bit more advanced, bring it all the way up, grab it, come down, don't let your feet or the ball touch the ground, come back up, and pass. And again, you're going to do 15, and one repetition counts when the ball passes to your hands, you come down, and then you pass it back to your leg. That's one repetition. Again, 15 to 20 reps. The next exercise you're going to do is laying down arm extensions or skull crushers, nose breakers, whatever you want to call them. So, grab your dumbbells, sit off to the side. And what you want to do is you don't want to be like this. You want to keep a nice tight core the whole time. So you're going to elevate your hips, keep your body straight, kind of like you're doing a plank. Bring your arms over your head. And then bring them back a little bit. So when you come down, the pressure doesn't remain in the joint. Then you come like this. Come just past a 90 degree angle. Breathe out on the way up. Come all the way back up. Come down. This is keeping your triceps flexed the whole time. Keep your core tight the whole time. Come back up. Remember, you're always breathing out when you exert the force. So again, 15 to 20 reps here. The next exercise you're going to do is going to be for your back. And what you're going to do is actually hit your back and shoulders. You're going to lay down. Now, I have to put my feet against the wall because this floor is very slippery. So if your floor isn't that slippery, don't worry about putting your feet on the wall. What you're going to do is lay down like this. Your body straight. Pull the dumbbells out in front of you. Pull back to here. And then bring it up. Back down. And then forward. And that's one rep. And do it again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Down. And down. And you're going to do this again. 15 to 20 reps. The next thing you're going to do is bicep curls. Now again, you're going to use your dumbbells. And make sure you pick dumbbells that you can do. If they're too heavy and you can't get a set of 15, lighten them up. If they're too light and you're doing like 30, Go a little heavier, challenge your body. Now sitting on the ball creates 
course makes you have to create more core stability. And by creating more core stability, you're working more muscles, which can give you a better workout. If I was just sitting on a bench, I wouldn't have to worry about falling off the thing. So be careful, sit on the ball, keep your elbows in front of your hips, maintain a neutral spine, breathe out on the way up, and do an arm curl. All the way up. Now see how I'm keeping my core tight, I'm not falling off the ball. If you want to make it harder, put your feet together like this. If this is too hard for you to do, put your feet nice and wide so you don't fall off the ball. As soon as you do 15 to 20 reps of those, you're simply going to bring the dumbbells up over your head and do shoulder presses. So, bring them up like this. Now, don't bring your elbows back. Keep your elbows in line with your hips. Don't go past 90 degrees. Slightly past 90 is okay. So, starting points here, ending points up here. So, bring it down, breathe in, push it up, breathe out. And again, you're going to do 15 to 20 reps. Maintaining core stability by sitting on the ball, and again, if you want to make it harder, bring your feet in together, come down and up. If you want to make it easier, put your feet wider like this. And that's how you do a shoulder press. Now the next thing you're going to do is a wall squat. Now you can do the wall squat with the dumbbells as well. And what you're going to do, put your ball against the wall, to start it, and about the mid part of your back, okay? You're gonna put your feet out in front of you. Because you have the ball behind you, you can put your feet out farther and allow yourself to come down to a 90 degree angle because you don't want your knees to pass your toes. And you're gonna push through your heels, okay? Holding the weight adds resistance to your legs if it's too easy for you. If it's too hard doing it with weights, use lighter weights or put your arms straight out in front of you like this and don't use any weights at all. So, get everything nice and tight. Tight core, come down 90 degrees, push straight up and breathe out. 90 degrees. See how I'm coming down and looks like I'm sitting in a chair? And again, 15 to 20 reps. That's how you do a wall squat. Now the next thing you're going to do is a fun exercise. It's an oblique twist while on the ball. And for this you need one dumbbell. If a dumbbell is too heavy, use a lighter dumbbell. Or don't use dumbbells at all yet. And just put your hands together. I'm going to use the dumbbell. I'm going to hold my hands up like this. And now again, whenever you're laying down like this and your upper back's on the ball, keep your body straight. Keep your core tight. Interlock your fingers. Now you're going to do 15 or 20 reps, but one rep counts when you go from side to side. So go to this side, and go to this side, and that's one rep. Two reps. Good. And like I said, if you want to make it harder, put your feet closer together. The next exercise you're going to do is a chest press. And again, you're going to use your dumbbells. You're going to be in this position, so what do you do? You keep your core nice and tight, keep your hips high. Now, you want to make sure the dumbbells are over the bottom of your chest, about right here, so you don't put much pressure into your shoulder. You want to make sure you don't bounce your arms off the ball. So you bounce your arms off the ball, you're not putting the resistance in your chest. So, down. Breathe out on the way up. One rep. And you're going to do 15 to 20 repetitions. If it's too easy, use bigger dumbbells. If it's too hard, use lighter dumbbells. You don't have to use the same size dumbbells throughout the whole routine if you have more dumbbells available to you. Now, the last exercise you're going to do is for your lats, for your back. And this exercise is actually pretty fun. What you're going to do is hold the dumbbells over your head like this. Keep your body straight. Keep your core tight. Come over your head like that. Keep your lats engaged. And then bring it up to here. And again, you're going to do 15 to 20 reps. And 
If it's too easy, use heavier dumbbells. If it's too light, use lighter dumbbells. If dumbbells are too heavy, do it with just your hands. One more, breathe out on the way up. And that's exercise ball routine. For more great stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel because I have new stuff coming out all the time. Later, guys.